God remains the number one and ultimately the tool for enlightenment, for deliverance, and for genuine transformation. God's kind of transformation is not only face value, it's not just on the surface. The transformation that God guarantees starts from inside out. That is true change that can happen to a man, that can happen to a family, that can happen to a system, that can happen to a nation. And that is what God is doing every time we come into this place. It is important that you understand that if not for uh, the help of the Spirit of God and the illumination that the Word of God can bring to a man, it is possible that a believer, even a pastor, a minister, can be held bound by satanic vices and not know. So deliverance is first of all, the ministry of deliverance is built first of all on solid revelation of the word of God and then a high tension anointing of the spirit of God. Because demons don't listen to English language. Demons respond only to one thing, power. An authority. It is important that I tell you today that there are about at least seven basic kinds of foundations in life. Number one is your lineage or your ancestry. Your lineage or your ancestry. Your lineage speaks about your biological foundation. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Number two, your territory, where you stay. Your environment and the community around you. That is environmental foundation now. Your territory. That territory has a history. Hundreds of years ago, people were living there. 500 years ago, there were people living there. What they did not only will affect them but will affect generations unborn that will survive in that environment there are certain environments that certain plant life plants cannot exist on is that true there are certain vegetables or plants that you can't plant everywhere your territory number three your career or profession that's another kind of foundation that you need to deal with your career or profession number four your marriage your marriage your home has a foundation in fact the bible says except the lord builds the house they labor in vain that that means any marriage that was not founded on the authority and the person of god is a disaster waiting to happen he said they labor in vain, isn't it? So you will labor, but how? In vain. Because something's wrong with the foundations. Number five, your abode, where you stay, where you live, your house. Your home is your family. Your house is where you stay. It has foundations. It was built on a piece of land. You need to understand what kinds of transactions, spiritually and physically, had gone on on that land before you came you don't know whether that land was forcefully seized from a widow and she laid courses 
20 years later you went and bought cheap land built your house and you are living in it but today God will bring deliverance number 6 your faith as a believer has foundations your spirituality and then number 7 your calling or divine purpose your calling or divine purpose so how many foundations did we look at just now seven foundational issues are very important issues that must be dealt with if a man must fulfill destiny and accomplish his divine purpose where you are going is determined first of all by where you are coming from how high a building is built is determined by the foundation the depths of his foundation in psalms 11 verse 3 he says if the foundations be destroyed what shall the righteous not unbeliever he say who? Who? Alright. 